Good morning. Welcome to a sunshine moment. I'm Pastor Angela. Today is Wednesday, September 16, 2020. And typically Monday through Thursday, around 10 a.m., I go live for a few moments of sharing some inspiration and reflection, a ray of light on our day. I would love to know where you're watching from and listening from. Today has me pondering the concept of waxing and waning. Thanks to my friend Jane for a cup of coffee and an outside discussion yesterday. This placed on my heart that whole concept spiritually uh, of waxing and waning, increasing and decreasing. I'm curious where it is that you find yourself waxing and waning. I was making a mental inventory yesterday afternoon and evening of ways that uh, I find myself resonating with increasing and decreasing um, amounts of, of faith and fortitude. I came up with a list of blessings and curses, emptiness and fullness. I thought about springing and then I thought about um, brackish. Uh, in talking with my husband. That's the way he thinks of waxing and waning. I thought about fig trees and olives and the opposites of those. I thought about taming and wildness of the spirit. Salt and fresh water. The saltiness of life. The freshness of life. And I was thinking about waxing and waning in terms of Humility or being humble versus elite and proud. And then in a conversation at a Bible study yesterday, led by my colleague with some of our members, pondering gossip and the waning of not, right? The use and employment of the tongue in powerful ways and in ways that deplete so there's so many different ways that we can spiritually resonate with the theology of waxing and waning. In particular, Martin Luther said this, God writes the gospel not in the Bible alone, but also on the trees and in the flowers and in the clouds and in the stars. Isaiah 51, 6 in the New Living Translation, Look up to the skies above and gaze down on the earth below. For the skies will disappear like smoke and the earth will wear out like a piece of clothing. The people of the earth will die like flies, but my salvation will last forever. My righteous rule will never end. Waxing and waning right? My righteousness, the righteousness of God will not ever wane, will not ever decrease. Isaiah 51 is meant to be reflected upon as a word of God um, in a tone of consolation, a consolation to us of God's abiding presence that continues to increase in ways when we feel like we are being diminished or the world around us is actually waning. God's righteousness and love, the consolation of the presence of God, never ever diminishes. So consider this translation. Today, lift up your high eyes to the heavens and then look at the earth below. For the heavens will vanish like smoke and the earth will wear out like a garment and its people will die like gnats but my salvation, my covenant will last forever. My promise to my people will never fail. Pretty amazing uh, theology. The steadfastness of God, that God is going to endure and God's got this. Even when the skies ahead of us in Missouri have the smoke from the fires on the West Coast, even when our friends and neighbors on the West Coast are, are grieving, we have the, the assurance of God's steadfast love for us. So let's pray together today, and in particular, lift up people on the West Coast who are living a tremendous uh, ordeal of grief and trauma and death and devastation. 
Let's pray. Gracious and loving God, we are standing firm on the faith of your righteousness that never wanes. Even, God, when we have waning and weary faith, we thank you for the winds of your Holy Spirit that infuse our hearts and our bodies and our souls with life and purpose. We as a country and as a people in a world, we grieve. And there are many areas in particular that are ripe with death and devastation. In particular today, God, we pause for just a moment of silence to lift up people who are hurting uh, from fires that are ravaging, um, that are waxing uh, before our eyes uh, in Oregon, Washington, California, Colorado, and other unnamed places. We pause for a moment of silence. May your grace rain down like amazing love from heaven. And may we um, tune to you and turn to you when we feel that our own spiritual life is being suffocated by death. God, these are our prayers and we pray together the prayer that your son taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for watching. And I appreciate your comments and your sharing, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hopefully, you found a ray of light from Isaiah, God's word spoken to you, that we worship a God whose love and steadfastness and grace is never waning. Make it a great day.